So I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do a few things with VRC Fury. Now, if you don't know what VRC Fury is, it is a program that you can add into your creator companion that can do a whole bunch of things, but it just makes avatar creation a lot simpler, a lot easier, and a lot more time efficient. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install VRC Fury. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below but you can install it right into your creator companion and then you can install it into your avatar project. I already have it installed for this one. This is my avatar Sky. She'll be available in my avatar world as a public avatar soon. But I'm going to show you first how to do a very basic toggle with VRC Fury. Now this is basically for People who already know how to do some basic avatar stuff, I'm not going to cover like how to, you know, make an avatar in Blender, how to put it into Unity, none of that. There's a lot of really great tutorials out there um, to teach you how to do that. Uh, this is just for VRC Fury in Unity. So first, let's show you how to do a toggle. So let's say we want to toggle our glasses off. You're going to go into your glasses. You don't have to go into this mesh and add the component. You can add the component wherever you like onto your avatar prefab and it will work. I just like adding them into the mesh I'm working in to make it more organized. So you go add component and then you type VRC Fury. Now you press this little plus button and you're going to hit toggle. Now you're going to create a menu path. So this is going to create um, a button in your menu on your avatar completely automatically. And if you want this glasses toggle to be in a sub menu, you would do Let's say I want it to be in a sub-menu called Accessories. I don't think, I did not spell that right, but whatever. Accessories slash Glasses. That's going to put it into the Accessories sub-menu, and the toggle is going to be named Glasses. Then you hit Options. Click Save Between Worlds, so that just means that um, when you hop to new worlds, uh, whatever you have the toggle on, it'll be saved. Add action. Now we're going to go to object toggle. Now since our glasses are turned on by default, we're going to turn it off. To turn off. I only really use the turn on, turn off. I do not use this flip state. Uh, option and then you're going to grab your glasses mesh and place it into the game object uh, box and that's it you're literally done that's all there is and I'll show you how it works in the gesture manager Alrighty, in our gesture manager, hit our expressions, and would you look at where it's in the submenu accessories we created, and it's called glasses. Look at that super simple toggle we just created in like five seconds. Now the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create expressions with VRC Fury. So I like to go into my head, add component, VRC Fury, press the plus, and then press gestures. Then press this little plus here. And now it's going to say a few things. So either left, right combo. This just means what um, hand you're going to be working on. 
So either means that it could be either hand, left hand is left hand, right hand is right hand, and then combo is for combo gestures. I don't really use combo gestures. I usually just go with the left hand. Now we have neutral, fist, hand open, etc. These are all the hand gestures that you can work in. So neutral is like your idle face. But let's work in hand open, for example. Then you can press add action and then hit blend shape. Now we're not going to touch anything right here, but you can go into your blend shapes. And so if you wanted a happy expression for your hand open, you could type in happy and you'll see all the options that you have for happy. Now this is going to be di completely different depending on the head you're using, what the blend shapes are named and stuff, but I know that this head has everything named pretty simple things. It might be a little more difficult if you have a booth avatar, um, but for western avatars I think this will be really simple. Let's do happy B. Now the value of 0 to 100 is, you know, the value of the blend shape, how strong you want the blend shape to be, 100 being, you know, obviously the full blend shape transform for your face, and then zero being nothing. I always keep it at 100. If I want to do any adjustments, I'll usually go in and do it myself, or look at it myself. Um, but, yep, that's literally it. That's all done. And if you wanted to create more, all you have to do is <laughs> press this plus sign here, and then you can just keep making more. You know, if you wanted to do your finger point, etc. Literally all you have. So now we can test this out in our gesture manager to see if it worked. To open and would you look at that it does indeed work and VRC Fury also makes sure to put right defaults on automatically so none of your gestures will overlap on top of each other it really is just that simple now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do material swaps so like for example if you wanted to have different hair color options and how to do the material swaps there I will show you I'm going to go into my hair mesh and I'm going to go VRC Fury, add component, and then we are going to do a toggle menu pass. I'm just going to keep it as hair color, options, save between worlds. And for this one, if you have more than one material swap, you're going to go and press use slider wheel. Now you're going to press add action, flipbook builder. And this is going to work the same way as like a radial or radial puppet toggle. Um, so first you go page one, you press that little plus button, see it says page one, press add action, press material swap. Now I'm going to explain what these mean. So your renderer is just the mesh that you want the material swap to happen on. So we want it to happen to our hair. So we go in and put in our hair mesh. Now slot number is the slot number of the material on your mesh that you want to swap. So if I go into the hair mesh, as you can see, it only has one material. So it will be still zero and you can keep it at zero. Usually most things I think you will be material swapping will only have one material, but if they have more, you can always go into the mesh, drop down this materials bar, and just check what number they are. Then for the material, you're going to put in whatever your base color is. So for me, it's black. So I'm going to put in the black hair material. Now, 
to do the next one, you're going to want to press this plus button right here, the second one. Make sure it says page two. You don't want to put everything on page one because then everything is going to start swapping the all at the exact same time. So page two. Material swap and put in our hair again, keep at zero. And then for the next material, you can do your next hair option. And you can keep doing this until you are finished with however many material swaps you have. I only have three here. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Now, what if, for example, you wanted two meshes to change materials at the same time. Like if you had a skin tone uh, toggle, for example. That can also be done using this exact same method. And I will show you how. So I'm just going to click my body, add component, the RC theory, press the plus, toggle, and then name this to whatever you like. Options, save between worlds, use slider wheel, very important. And then just press flipbook builder. Press the plus sign to see page one, and then material swap. Now you can start with either your body or your head. I like to start with the head. So put the head in, and we can check to see what slot it needs to be. The face is on slot zero. So we can keep this again at zero. Now the material, base texture, and now you're going to press this first plus sign, material swap, and these are both going to be on the same page. So now you can put in your body mesh, and I'm keeping it at zero because I know this body mesh only has one material. And then put in your base color. Now press the second plus button, like we did before. Material swap, make sure it says page two. Put in your head, keep it at zero. Put in your next material option. Press the first plus sign, material swap. Put in your body, keep it at zero. And put in your second body option. And again, you just repeat this process until you are finished with however many material swaps you have for these meshes. I only have three, so we can just finish this up pretty fast. And there you go. All done. And we can test it again with the gesture manager. Let's see expressions. So we have our hair color. Easy swaps. And then we have our skin tone. Super simple, right? Super easy. I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial is how to do a hue shift with VRC Fury. This is also pretty simple as long as you kind of know what you're doing. So I will show you. Now let's say we wanted to hue shift the emission on these ears, right? So we're going to go into our ear material and first we want to make sure that the emission has hue shift enabled. I'm going to change the color of this so that the hue shift will just show up, but we're going to make sure it has hue shift enabled. And then you want to click, you're going to want to right click this, animated when locked. 
make sure that is put in there, very important. Then you're gonna right click this again, and you're gonna copy property name. Now let's go into our ears. And we are going to do another ERC Fury option. So first we're going to do toggle. Menu path, you can put it as use. Option, save between worlds and use slider wheel. Press add action. And you are going to do material property. So for the renderer, we're going to put in as our ears. Um, property. Remember how we copied the property value? You're going to press Control V. That'll be in there. And you're going to set the value to 1. And what that's going to do is it's just going to cycle through all the hue shift colors until it reaches back to the default one. Basically, if you've seen a hue shift before, it's going to work exactly as you expect. And that's it. You're done. You have made a hue shift. And I'll show you with the gesture manager, like always. Use. There you go. It's really, really simple. And you can do that for whatever few shifts you like. Anyways, uh, that is all I have to show you for today. Probably more tutorials going to be coming soon. But uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped some of you. There aren't too many VRC Fury tutorials um, out there covering uh, most of the stuff it can do in regards to avatar creation. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. I am also still learning. So if I don't have the answer to something, I am very sorry, I can ask around for you. But 